I think you're right. Right now, F11 doesn't do anything for me here in my uh, setup in the game. Oh, well, that makes sense then. You must have unbound it at some point, or maybe you did install the Lewis or change the key bindings. Anyway, we'll get started on a briefing here. Um, I accidentally deleted stuff that I didn't want to delete, so give me one second to put it back. So uh, let me just declutter this a little bit here. We're starting out at Kabaluti. Uh We've got a target here. Um, need to be inserting troops. And the target is a little bit saturated with enemy. <clears throat> so we know general idea where the enemy is, but we're going to need uh, to use uh, advancing techniques to get on them. Uh, so our biggest threat here is a Shilka, which has a range of about 2.5 kilometers. So right about here is the uh, uh, circle. So actually, I'll draw that in right now. There we go. So that's our threat ring. That's the closest we can get before that uh, Shilka can start engaging us. There's also T-72s, which have ATGMs. Uh, those have a range of about four kilometers, a little bit uh, of a bigger threat radius on them. Um, but they're not too big of an issue. And as long as we are uh, maintaining cover, they should not be able to uh, engage us. So we're going to fly it out to uh, IP1, and uh, we'll do our advancing from there. Lift. You go, oh my god, hang on a second. Cat is playing with an apple. Sorry about that. I'm just sitting here and all of a sudden here, thump, 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 and Apple comes flying down the stairs. <laughs> all right, so we'll head to IP1, do our movement techniques from there, and we'll uh, engage targets. We might be there for a little while, we might need to rearm. So while we're doing that, I've got a FARP that is just outside of the range. Uh, your closest threats are those T-72s with the four kilometer ATGM range, and you guys are just over seven Ks to that FARP Delta location. Your transport is three ammo crates, three fuel crates, and eight troops to manage the FARP. Copy. Once you're done that, uh, you guys can sit and wait. Maybe you can ferry some troops up because your uh, next objective is the insertion of the troops on the air assault, LZ Crandall. Uh, you need 32 troops there. We'll give you an ice call when you're ready to go in. 
Looks like we've got threats on the southwest, southeast, and north side of this village. So we're going to, going to be doing some uh, movement techniques with the uh, vampire here. Uh, we know that there's eight T-72s. There's a Shilka with a BRD, uh, BTR-80 escort. And then there's four BTRs on the north side. So we'll uh, keep in mind of what's there. And uh, we'll use that. Um, pretty much at the center of this grid here. I'm going to put down a grid uh, for us uh, to put into our TSD. And I want you to put uh, this threat ring in that they added in the latest update. I think it's G4, maybe? Basically draws a great big circle around the uh, the target area. So we'll put down a TSD point here and uh, give me one second here. I'm going to double check what the command is. Uh, somebody just talked about it in uh, G3. I see. Okay. Um, Where the hell did he mention this? Ah, there it is. GU. Okay, so Generic Air Defense Unit. Uh, this abbreviation is abbreviation GU. It's going to draw a red circle on your map of five kilometers, which I believe if we turn on our engagement areas, we do five kilometers from this radius. It's going to be just outside of range of pretty much all these targets. So as long as you remain outside that uh, five kilometer radius, will be okay. And we'll also put a G3 in there, which is going to give us a three kilometer radius. So I'll just write these down just for reference. Uh, there. So if you do forget what it is, it's G3 and GU. Um, yeah, any questions? I am not familiar with those abbreviations and how to enter them and what they do. OK, I'll talk you through it as we're in. Um, are you OK flying yeah. with Georgie again? Because I do kind of want you to practice these movement techniques uh, with the helicopter. Absolutely. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to escort Rhino, or what we're going to do a route reconnaissance. So we're going to check out Farp Delta, make sure that area is secure, which I mean, clearly it is, but just for training purposes, we're going to go out there and uh, do a quick recon of Farp Delta. And then once we're done there, we'll go to IP1. Um, and while we're on our way, I'll, I'll talk you through how to set these up. Oh, dear. Rhino, uh, what do you guys it? understand your mission? Absolutely, mate. Uh, the comms? Uh, we'll use standard comm, so internal frequency, I believe, is standard 36 for Vampire and 33, channel 3, for Rhino, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong, though. Um, so whatever your guys' standard internal frequency is, and then external, we use 251 CTAF for uh, interflight. Yep, 251. Cool. All right, give me a couple minutes to uh, restart my DCS and put on the facehugger, and I will contact you guys on CTAF.
So obviously we're going into BSD2. Yes, BSD2. And I'm assuming uh, Kobaletti Vampire, one of the vampires. Yeah. Anyone I should go for in particular? No, uh, whatever one, doesn't matter. Is this a night mission? You betcha it is. The hell, where's voice attack? Is this one of those things I need to turn on before I run SteamVR? Yeah, sorry, Statue. I knew there'd be a question, mate. Um, the troop pickup area, where's that? Is that the um, hidden farp? A Cobaletti? There's. I don't know where the hell is it, a Cobaletti. I think it's one of the. Is there a C 130 down there somewhere? Probably down the runway on like the right, the east end somewhere. Yeah, copy all of it. Ah, yep, there it is. Yep, copy.
Say uh, VHF is 141. Nope. No VHF. UHF? Standard. Uh, 251. Always remember that number, 251. It will always use 251 on uh, server 2 and 250 on server 1. Got that. Unless like the mission specifically states otherwise, but if you're on training or any of my missions, it's 251. Oh man, I uh, just got like a, <coughs> a throttle input error. But I've okay, let me see if I can restart SRS. So I had to restart SRS. Um, I suppose that I have to. Um, oh, I, I guess I can click connect. Let's see. More players. Good, you? <laughs> Sorry, I this was wallowing, my bad.
Salty on uh, 251. Salty here. Yeah, go ahead, meet me on the internal frequency standard, uh, which for vampires 36 Fox Mike. Copy that. Clear, clear all three. So I got a quick question for you. So if I want to enter these waypoints into the GPS, but they're not in the right format, I know you sent me a conversion website. How do I convert them to be able to put them into the website or the GPS? Absolutely no idea. So what I do is I go onto the F10 map, I hover over the uh, waypoint, and then it'll give you the lat long and you just write it down, which is what I'm doing now. So IP, prepare to copy. Sorry, I far up, I meant. So it's uh, north 42, wait, 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 wait. 07, wait, wait. 36, east 41, decimal 48, decimal 47. Uh, do you know how to change the coordinates in the map view? I can't remember. Yep, it's uh, Alt Y or Control Y or Shift Y, all left. Yeah, it's Alt Y and the F10 map. This, uh, correction 2, this is one on Redcom 1. I think uh, we've uh, spawned at the wrong airfield. <laughs> Cobalette is about six hours south. Oh, seriously? So we need to respond? Yes, sir. Uh, 
Before you jump out though, just let me uh, check to make sure they do have MI8s down there.
running like copies. No problem, we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. I'll let you know if we can't find it. Come in. and uh, I'll be red cop one two six. Uh, while you're waiting, did you want to see if you can see where that pickup zone is? Yeah, I see an aircraft across the airfield, but I don't. That's a C1, that's not a C-130. Yeah, that's the helicopter with the trucks around it, is it? Well, up northwest of where we are, there's a little airplane and a couple helicopters. But I don't think that's it. And to our left is a helicopter and some hangars. I could taxi over there real quick and find out. Yeah, absolutely. Just do your CTAF call, mate, so everyone knows what you're doing. Uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Stop, you're killing me. Actually, I actually have a question before I take off, though. Um, Only because at the start, Statue mentioned that uh, 251 will be Command CTAF. What I would do is I would do your CTAF. Um, what 
I'll do is I'll get hold of him first and I'll just say, look, we're just going to reposition along the uh, taxiway to see if we can find the troop pickup area because it's not visual to us. Um, so, and then do your CTAC call uh, once we're, we're ready to fly. Does that make sense? No, it still doesn't answer who CTAP is. Is CTAP the air controller or is that statua? Is that the mission like commander asking permission or am I asking permission to move on the runway to some other entity? There's no controllers around. So you would communicate on whatever channel the CTAP frequency is and it lets all pilots operating in that area on that frequency know what your aircraft's doing at any particular time. Flight's just going to um, transition around the tax area just to see if we can find the pickup area. Uh, it's not obvious from our location. Cover that. Now yeah, you're good to go. Since you said Rhino flight though, do I need to do it too? Yes, because I didn't say what we were actually doing, I just said we're going to transition around the tax area, so you would just say um, um, Cobaletti traffic, uh, Rhino 2 is taxiing down um, whatever taxiway that is, I didn't look, um, to taxiway Bravo, does that make sense? <laughs> Good lord, yeah, I've like, lost a lot of this uh, airfield stuff, so do I need to go to the deep board to find that taxiway? It'll be in the Cobaletti airfield, it'll name the taxiway that's right in front of us and if uh, 07 is the active runway then um, the taxiways, well actually the taxi number doesn't change so it'd have a taxiway number for each taxiway. And remember this is a training mission so it doesn't matter if we take forever to do it. Uh, it's just, it's a good learning experience, right? You're not thinking that in your head though, are you? You're saying this is freaking ridiculous. No, it's definitely stuff I need to get better at. I, I never was strong at the airfield stuff, and I'm especially worse now that I haven't really been doing it a lot. <laughs> Very cool. Do you have all the airport table? Um, I got it pulled up on the knee board right now. I copy that. Bastard, you don't say S, you say Sierra. Alright, now you're over the time. Can't take it seriously. And the reason is, is S can be misinterpreted, but if you said Sierra, it, everyone who doesn't hear the first letter will know, ah, oh, he's talking about S. Nope, you're absolutely right, you should have done that. All good. Traffic 
Bruno 1 taxiing uh, along Ch Sierra for Bravo. Cover later, Trevor. I think you meant runway syphilis. Yeah, you're killing me now. I'm trying to make you uh, give your blessing to make me go to OH. Come on, you know I think this is a hobby, and you've got to enjoy whatever you do. So if that's if that tickles your fancy, you do what you've got to do. No, no, he actually asked me that. He's like, I would uh, recruit you if you want to fly with us. And I was like, I was like, I can't do that for all of me. <laughs> I was like, uh, I mean, I do like flying the MI-8, I love it, um, but it would be fun to, you know, maybe be able to do their training sometimes. Yeah, yeah, the C-130 is this way, mate, so you're going to have to do a 180. Okay, yeah, I couldn't see it, so I'm glad you found it. Yeah, we found the C-130, it's adjacent to Taxiway Bravo, we're moving there now. Copy that, perfect. Yeah, it's not showing on the map for some reason, I guess I'll send marking or something. That's nah, all good. the uh, airport frequency to find out uh, which runway we're taking off on. Do you want me to do that? Uh, yeah, or you can walk me through it. Yeah, okay. I'll walk you through it. Once I uh, stop at the back of the C-130, I'll put my wheel chocks on and I'll wait till you're here and then we'll uh, talk through it. My, my reasoning for wanting to fly um, with the OH and learn the OH is I, I do really intend to fly the 58, but I really just, their training schedule fits perfectly with my time zone, like my time, so like I'd love to go get some more flight time. Mate, absolutely, and honestly, do it. Don't, uh, don't, don't think you're going to offend me at all. Um, go your hardest, after the platoon check, of course. Well, I still want to get RL1 too, I mean, I'm... I love the MI-8, like I said, I have no intention of leaving Rhino. I just, you know, it'd be cool to fly with them on their missions, so. Or at least their trainings, which happen at 8 o'clock every night, which is like perfect for me, because my son goes to bed at 7.30. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, mate. send you a, um, a clip so you don't have to watch the whole stream, but there's at one point in the night where I accidentally fired a Hellfire too soon because I'm not used to all their, you know, rifle calls and like, you know, targets, so I <laughs> fired a Hellfire way too early when we were trying to all sync like one shot together against this SA-15, so it's kind of funny. Say 32 troops total or 32 troops apiece? Nope, so for FARP Delta we need three ammo crates, three fuel crates, and eight infantry. So what I suggest is we carry two ammo crate or two items internally and sling load the third one. And we both carry eight troops. So with the sling load. When you spawn your sling load, we've just got to be careful it doesn't land on me. Well, actually, when you spawn your um, crates, we've got to be careful it doesn't land on me. And that's probably a uh, fair comment. 
just looking at where you are and I are. No, there should be enough room. We should have enough room between us. Oh yeah, can you give me that um, loadout again? Sorry. Yep, so if you take two fuel drums internally and one fuel drum externally, plus eight infantry, I will do two ammo internally and one ammo externally. So you do fuel, I'll do ammo. Okay, two fuel internally, one fuel externally, and eight troops internally. Yep. Okay, that's not going to work, so we'll only be able to load one internally and carry one as a sling load, so we are going to have to do two trips. One Rhino, one uh, Rhino flight is uh, Redcon 1, permission to uh, collect our freight and depart for Farm Delta. Have that Rhino 1, we're going to go do a quick recon of that uh, farm location for you. We're just about to leave here, just sorting out a couple night flying uh, points. It'll be about two minutes. Copy that, we'll wait for an ice call. So once they depart the airfield, mate, we'll just pick up and pick up our uh, cargo, um, sling load. Little traffic vampire flight, she comes H64, departing from the ramp to the north. And then we'll just loiter over the airfield until they call ice. Happy with that? So I want to get some practice in while I've got time. So as for the um, um, contacting the tower, you know how to contact ATC, yeah? Yeah. Yep, so you just uh, ask permission to start up and then request taxi to runway and then they'll tell you what the active runway is. So if you want to do that and let me know what it is, I should actually hear it. But you'll need to tune the correct frequency first, right? So, are we 
we talking uh, do the like the AI, or is this a different one? Yep. So you would uh, dial in one three three or two six two. Either one of those two will get hold of Cable Eddy Airfield, and then you would ask for permission to taxi to start up, and then permission to taxi to the runway, and he'll tell you which way's um, which way's active. Okay, so that's the uh, runway, that's the threshold directly at the other end of the airfield. But uh, what it does mean is uh, the wind will be blowing into 07, so um, we're actually facing the right way to be taking off into the wind. So we can, we can take off straight out, no problems at all. Okay, once I uh, got his cargo and I'm just transitioning forward, I'll loiter at the buildings directly at our 12 o'clock until you're uh, good to go. Position. You are hooked. Take tension. Take. Fuck. Well, it's where my 
broke, so let me try this again. Yeah, no worries, Mike. I wish I could blame the smoke, but that was all me. Okay. Oh, shut up. Are you on MVGs or are you flying uh, night? Uh, yeah. Just flying four bird. Five. Four bird. Yeah. Four bird. Yeah. It's up to you, but I find um, the MVGs Five. helps. Four bird. But it's up to you. Some people like it, some people don't. Empire flights arrived at Farb Delta. I'll uh, I'll take up the track to the farm. Yeah, 
I have no idea where you are. 100 knots or 100 kilometers an hour, just so as I don't get the sling to break. I have no idea where you are. That's right, I'm looking for you as well. Hopefully I'm not about to fly into you. Okay, I'm at your 4 o'clock, so if you turn 180, you'll see me over the end of the runway. The load is swinging side to side, turn. The load is swinging side to side, turn. I'm at 300 metres. Above sea level, I'm doing uh, weight uh, 100 knots, flying uh, direct to the farm. I've crossed the end of the runway, continuing north. The load is swinging side to side, turn. Yep, I've got you at about my 7 o'clock, going 5 times faster. The load is swinging, 4 and up. 10. The load is swinging side to side, 10. The load is swinging side to side, 10. Yep, still have you at my 7 o'clock, looking good. Is it side your side? Five. Yes, sir. You're to my left rear. You're coming up to my eight o'clock. I should be at your uh, two o'clock, about uh, 100, the 200 meters. Side to side. Yeah. The load is I still can't see you up a lot, apparently. Okay, I'm at your 3 o'clock, I'm flaring. I can't see you because of the sunrise, um, but I am uh, at your 3 o'clock, probably low. You are now in front of me. You're at my uh, 10 o'clock. That's alright, don't worry about uh, following me. If you head straight to the bar, I will uh, pick you up by the time you get there. The load is swinging side to side, five. The load is swinging side to side, three. The load is swinging side to side, ten. The load is swinging side to side, five. Yeah, it's my whole faster fashion. The load is swinging. That's all right, mate. As long as your cargo doesn't break. The load is swinging side to side. If it does, don't worry about it. Just continue on and drop the internal cargo, and that way um, we still do two trips. It's all good. Oh, I'll slow down now. But I realized I was approaching like. Yeah, I've got your visual. 
Have you turned your anti-collision light off? you guys shooting shit. The load is swinging side to side. Damn. It's amazing what you can do with CTLD if you know all the commands. Like this is just our standard training server and he was able to come in, put a couple of commands in and do a whole new mission. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> the load is swinging side to side. Five. 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 So when I broke the line on this, it actually shattered my lower windshield. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen that happen before. But it did. Load is hanging steady. I mean, it's not cool that you broke your, your helicopter, but it's actually cool that they modeled that, right? down a bit so you can get in there first. I've slowed down about uh you know how back up to the load is swinging side to side yeah. the load is swinging side to side yeah. Yeah, I've got us at about one minute out. The load is swinging side to side. Five. The load is swinging side to side. Ten. Lee 
Oh, look at that. We got some cousin. Yeah, go ahead and uh, well. jump in my CPG slot here. This is uh, quite a bit of helmet fire for you right now. Alright, I have you, Vizu. You're looking good. I'm out to your 3 o'clock a little high. CPG. The load is swinging side to side. Ah, uh, not at all. The load is swinging side to side. Five. The load is swinging side to side. Five. I'm just going to go into a right-hand orbit. That'll give you time to drop your crate and uh, then land and drop uh, drop your infantry and your internal. The load is swinging side to side. Five. The load is swinging side to side. Five. The load is swinging side to side. Ten. The load is swinging fore and up. Ten. The load is swinging side to side. Ten. The load is swinging fore and up. Three. The load is swinging side to side. Ten. The load is swinging fore and up. Ten. Swinging four and up. Ten. The load is swinging four and up. Ten. I'm going to just drop it right here. Yeah, that'll do. Here's what it is, mate. I don't know how big the circle will be, but we can always move it once it's on the ground. On the ground. 
Really? Alright, I've dropped mine. Do you want me to orbit while you drop yours? Uh, as in you've dropped your internal as well? No, not yet. I can do that real quick. Yeah, copy that. Yeah, just do yours. I'll come in at your 6 o'clock. I don't suppose you've worked out how to turn that that load on the uh, dash off, that light on the dash? No, I haven't. I actually thought about start reading about modding um, cockpit and seeing it, but I haven't seen anything. They like to encrypt the um, the actual like some of the stuff I think for, for this. thinking about it, before you pick up, do you want to put your infantry back inside? Because um, we only need eight, but um, I'm worried I'm going to put my uh, container on top of their head. These loads have to be though. Will do. Good night. See you, man. Uh, Rhino, Vampire One. a little bit delayed here clearing things up. Uh, lost my number two. Uh, just not quite up to snuff for tonight, so I'm going to try to work these targets myself. Advise when you get that uh, cargo loaded up so I can get the, the farm set up. Yeah, copy that. We're just doing our first trip now. We'll need to do one more trip and we'll be good to go. Anyway, so it'll be all good if we just leave them in this location. Okay, yeah, it seems like my troops for some reason don't want to be picked up. Like, it said they were coming, but they haven't come yet. Yeah, I just don't think they like to fly, mate. I completely understand that. <laughs> Alright, I'm, uh, I'm good to go. Do you want to lead the way back to the airfield? We'll do a direct approach into the uh, cargo pickup area.
Vampire 1, uh, Rhino Flight is uh, departing the flight location for our second trip. Um, probably return in about 15 minutes. Copy. Comet, you're 6 o'clock, mate, about uh, 50 metres, so you're good to... Uh Um, just out of curiosity, where are you off to? Sorry about that, got mesmerised by the sunset. It does look good. Actually, it looks bloody awesome. You got the moon... Is that the moon or is that the sun? No, it's the moon. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I was kind of mesmerised for a second. Absolutely. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near the airfield. We'll, um, we won't sling load the last crate, we'll just uh, load it internally and, and get out there as quickly as possible. Sounds good. We've already dropped infantry there, but we'll need to load infantry for the, um, for the objective. on if you don't have them already, just for the um, LZ. Yeah, I already got them on. Two. Well, it's 12 o'clock. Okay, two is fifty meters, four o'clock. Traffic. This is Rhino Flight 2, uh, arriving direct, uh, direct arrival to the logistics loading zone. So the easiest way to remember a CTAF call 
is what they want to know is who you are. So Rhino Flight, two MI8s, where you are. So we're two nautical miles west of Cobaletti Airfield at 500 feet and what your intentions are inbound to the logistics area for cargo operations or something along those lines. But it's generally who, where and what you're doing. Okay, got it. And I always stuff it up, so don't worry. Alright, two's going to trial. Right, timer just speed, and uh, once we're near the old runway, I'm going to pull left. Check. Oh, that's embarrassing. What's that? Drop my troops, I forgot to drop my ammo crate, so I'm gonna have to sling like this one. I thought I dropped... I think I might have done the same thing, actually. Yep, it's saying I already have one loaded, so, yay.
me, once you um, pick up your crate, um, if you head direct out, that'll give us enough separation so you can be finish what you need to do when I get there. Did you load a squad of infantry? Yes. Awesome. Forward. is runner one, uh, looks like you've lost your uh, FM radio as well. Okay, Rhino One has the cargo on board. Uh, head back to the front. The load is swinging side to side. Five. Five visual. I'm uh, about uh, 500 metres behind you, a little lower. I'll uh, remain at 6 o'clock with the same separation. Swinging side to side, five. The load is 
Yeah, I've got vampire visual at about your 10 o'clock, go just above the uh, horizon. Oh, this 
swinging side to side, pass. The load is swinging side to side, pass. The load is swinging side to side, five. 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 The load is swinging side to side, pass. 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 The load is swinging side to side, three. The load is swinging side to side, five. The load is swinging side to side, pass. The load is swinging side to side, pass. Load is hanging steady. to the west of your position, so at about your 9 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to put down to the uh, east of Vampire, where I put down before. Yeah, copy, I'll go west.
Farb Delta traffic, Vampire 1 holding north of Farb Delta until uh, LZ is clear of construction crew. 10 to ground. 10 to ground. 10 to ground. 3 to ground. 1 to ground. 1 to ground. On the ground. Yeah, two, this is what I'm going to pick up and uh, just hold out to the west. Farm Delta traffic, uh, Rhino 1 picking up from Farm, and we'll hold to the west of the Farm area. Thank you very much, just in time. I'm all out of rockets and fuel and got some more bad guys to shoot. Anytime, our pleasure. Front Delta traffic, Vampire 1 inbound from the north. Where are we supposed to drop the troops to? I thought we were saving those for the LZ. Saving those of the LZ, man. We've already dropped our troops. The fact they run away? Yeah. Alright, let's get going. Alright, let's get going. Once uh, Vampire clears out, we'll uh, go and uh, sit on the deck until we get the ice cool.
From Dublin traffic, Vampire 1 lifting, departing to the northwest. Delta traffic, Corrado, flight to MIA, it's approaching from the west, DTA, three minutes. Rhino, Vampire. Rhino, go ahead. Six out of eight T-72s on the south side of the town have been destroyed. Uh, one out of three B, or one out of four BTR-80s on the north side have been destroyed. I'm going to work on the BTR is on the north side. Once those are down, I'm going to give you ice hot. Stay away from the south side of town. You should be cleared in. And uh, I'll work on the remaining T-72s uh, while you're inbound. Copy that. Rhino will be inbound from the south. Be aware of uh, enemy forces of the other four, three compass points. And Rhino recommended ingress, uh, advise ready to copy. Rhino, go ahead. Depart due north from Farb Delta, do not move anywhere west. Continue north until you reach the river. Once you've reached the river, uh, follow the river in to the LZ. Copy that. Uh, depart Farb Delta to the north, continue directly north to the river, and then follow the river to the LZ. Ready back track. Uh, LZ is still ice hot. Uh, you can probably hold at the river, and then uh, I'll advise when it's ice cold. Or, sorry, ice hot. It's currently cherry right now. Copy, currently cherry. We'll hold at river until ice hot. Right, I copy. Rhino 2, Rhino 1. Rhino 2. They yeah, confirm you uh, still have troops on board? Uh, yes. Copy that. We'll fly over fly uh, Farm Delta and then we'll continue transitioning to the north as per uh, Vampire's brief. Delta 12 o'clock. Hey, one's turning uh, north now. 
I'm going to try and stay at treetop level just to uh, minimise the chance of getting shot. Two, this is one, there's that small island in the middle of the river. We'll use that as our no further west point and just remain over the river to the east of that location. Flight's in position over the river. Man, I'm a vampire. Wanna go ahead? LZ, ice hot. LZ, ice hot, uh, Rhino's in bed. and then turn into the town from the north. <laughs> I 
Okay, wires by 12 o'clock, we'll be running left to right, going over the top. Once we're over the top, we'll go down into the low ground and turn left into the uh, end of the town. Okay, we are going to have to cross the wires, uh, they are running left to right, we'll go underneath. Okay, come on left. For about one minute out. Okay, we're good for line up, just follow this creek straight ahead. Burning record. Oh, incoming. Oh, that's friendly fire. Ones on the ground, troops down. Copy and we'll just fly a reverse route the way we came in. Troops dropped, uh, Vampire exiting to the north. Righto, exiting to the north. Cover that, Rhino.
Tempo 1 Rhino 1, we're over our hold point over the river. Uh, request return to Farm Delta to reload troops. Copy, yeah, go ahead, return. Uh, just cleared the last of the enemy here. Uh, copy that. So we cleared to pick up that uh, Kazavak? Negative, not at this time, it's within range of the T 72. Copy that. Delta Rhino Flight 2 MIA, team down from the north at uh, 300 feet ETA, 2 minutes. Over the top, mate, drill right hand orbit into the uh, into the farm. Delta traffic, uh, Rhino flight over the top, uh, right hand downwind, full stop. Delta Rhino flight on final full stop. I'll stay left, go long.
Check fuel and ammo while we're here. Uh, 1,000 pounds. That should be good uh, to finish the mission. Maybe load some anti-tank infantry in case there's any, any issues. Does it let you load it? Oh, I didn't try. Good point. There's a whole bunch of infantry to the west. Yeah, they're all the ones we dropped previously. I'll move them over to us. Oh, you've already done it, huh? Uh, I did it for one group if you want to get the other. I have to be, I'll be right back. Okay, two seconds. You're up. Run up, Vampire. Run up, go ahead. Coming to the end of the uh, training exercise here, so I'm going to go ahead and index. Uh, you guys did the m drop the troops there. Couldn't get rid of that last T-72 because George is drunk. So, <laughs> I'm going to say mission successful <laughs> anyway because he still uh, hit the criteria. So, uh, you guys are clear to RCP. Roger, bud. I have the visual. Rhino Vampire. Rhino, I'm going. I've only got about uh, 120 rounds on board, that's it. But uh, I'll give you guys an escort back home. Copy that. About uh, 800 feet AGL. I'm off at your 1 o'clock high.
Copy, searching. Hello, two, Rhino, one, you have in visual. Traffic Vampire Flight 1 times 8, 64, escorting Rhino Flight 2 times MI8 inbound for full stop landing. 10 kilometers to the north. Yeah, wires to uh, 11 o'clock uh, you know, across our path. Oh, you're four o'clock, twenty meters. Traffic Vampire 1 to make final. Runway 27.
Okay, yeah, I, did, I could hear him. I just didn't know exactly where he was in visual, so I didn't want to pull any crazy maneuvers. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about uh, airfield approaches shortly, but ideally you want to go over the middle of the airfield. That way we never interfere with someone on final for the landing. Come on. 